Welcome to the Lazarus Project. Not heard of us? Let me catch you up. That's George, that's Sarah, and I'm Archie. The date is July the 1st. Uh, you should remember that part. Life is good for George, until he wakes up on the same day and realises he's stuck in some kind of time loop. Unable to understand, George spirals and Sarah leaves him. Ouch. That's when he meets me, Archie. I promise to answer all of George's questions should the loop repeat again. Six months pass and just like clockwork, yeah, you get the picture. George and I meet again and I reveal George is something different. But you're a mutant. That's it, George. Full-blown superhero shit. Well, not quite. George has the rare ability to recall time jumps, all orchestrated by us, the Lazarus Project. Ta-da! We've been preventing the world from ending for years. I don't know anything about saving the world. Don't you pick it up as you go along. Undoing time to a particular date known as a checkpoint, in this case, the 1st of July. And we keep resetting until our mission is complete. I invite George to join the Lazarus Project to help with our mission of saving the world. He accepts. Nice one, George. George joins us on his first mission. A nuclear warhead called Big Boy has been stolen by Dennis Rebrov, a former employee turned traitor. A monumental We track him down in Paris, but he gets the better of us and detonates. Once again, we wake up on the 1st of July. Our mission, incomplete. You're getting the hang of it now. We continue to pursue Rebrov while George stays at home with Sarah. One fateful morning, she's hospitalized when she's hit by a truck on her way to work. I call George to tell him Rebrov's been captured which means no time jump and no guarantee of saving Sarah. George asks us to turn back time to save Sarah. But unfortunately, that's not how the Lazarus Project works and Sarah sadly dies. So George turns to the one man he knows can help him get her back, Rebrov. Really, George? Rebrov tells George that the only way to get Sarah back is to detonate Big Boy. George agrees to the mission and heads to Barcelona to meet Rebrov's contact and the only person who can build him a detonator. Her name is Janet also an ex-member of the Lazarus Project. Rebrov and Janet were once lovers who lost a child in favor of a mission. So they both turned their backs on the team. Now armed with a detonator, George heads to Romania to track down Big Boy. Shiv, another member of the Lazarus Project, gets suspicious and follows him. George shoots and kills him. That's your fucking job reference gone, George. Eventually, he's able to locate Big Boy and detonates it on Russian territory. George is called back to the Lazarus Project to explain everything. He successfully frames Shiv, but his mission has failed. The damage isn't great enough to turn back time. So George takes things one step further, killing a Russian ambassador and inciting war. The Lazarus Project has no choice but to turn back. I really hope she's worth it, George. Boom. The clock has been reset. Sarah and Shiv are alive and Rebrov is free. George is happy until Sarah leaves him. Again. Big enough red flag for you, George? We locate Shiv in Hamburg. He's got himself mixed up in a hostage situation. The hostage is Janet, but there's no sign of her and no sign of Shiv. Rui, a former agent of the Chinese government, appears to be involved too. Well, that's an understatement. George returns to his apartment and he's attacked by Shiv. He shoots Shiv at exactly 0 hundred hours on July the 1st. While disposing of his body, George finds a bloody note in Shiv's pocket. A few weeks pass and for reasons unknown, time resets again. It's the exact time that he shoots and kills Shiv. Oh, you've seen nothing yet. Someone's made a copy of the Lazarus Project's black hole and time will keep resetting until we find a way to destroy it. Told you it gets even more crazy. I track down Rui, who informs me that the Chinese government is responsible. Janet is the only one who can fix it, but we can't find her anywhere. It's then that I finally find out about George's dealings with Janet. I'm not upset, I'm just disappointed. Actually, scrap that, I'm very fucking upset, George. I tell George that he needs to find a way to save him. So he sets off to discover what was written on the bloody note in Shiv's pocket. Shiv's the only one who knows where Janet is. Reb Rob's also looking for Janet, so he turns up at George's apartment. George shares the note with Reb Rob, but before he can say anything, time resets all over again. Clock goes back in one minute. Oh, come on, man. This time, though, George manages to revive Shiv, who reveals that Rebrov is the key. Rebrov shows up at Lazarus HQ to reveal what was on that note. It's a code that he and Janet would share with each other if ever they got in trouble, one that he last received in a text message back in 2012. So someone has found a way to send Janet back in time. To get her back, we need his help. And that's what brings us up to season two. It's bigger, bolder, a hundred times more batshit, and I think you're really going to want to see it. Join us for the new series of The Lazarus Project on Sky.